Hello everyone, we will continue the topic search help exit and in the previous videos we discussed the various call control steps and in the last video we did the practical for the cell one step in case of collective search help with the help of this step you can choose whatever the elementary search help you want to display and you can delete the other elementary search help. Now I will move on to pre-cell step. I will show you the practical of pre-cell and out of all these steps, this step has the highest weightage means based upon the requirement maximum time this step will come into the picture. So now what I will do, I will simply, simply go for our elementary search help. Now I will change the dialog type to dialog with value restriction because you all know very well the purpose of pre-cell step is to provide the selection condition. Whenever you want to provide the selection condition, you want to see those selection condition, you require a dialog pop-up and dialog pop-up will always, always comes into dialog with value restriction. So I choose this particular option. Now I will go to our search help exit. Now. I will simply, simply comment this code because this is the same search help exit which I used in collective search help also. If I am running this search help, if I am running this search help and I am deleting this search help itself, then I will not find anything. Okay, so I will comment this code. Yes. So I will comment this code. Now, SAP provided a very good documentation for the pre-cell step in the starting itself. I told SAP provided the very good documentation for the call control step. You just need to read the documentation and you can do did the practical. It's very, very easy. Suppose if I will go for our pre-cell step. But this pre-cell step is saying, it is clearly saying enter the selection condition. And it is clearly saying whenever you want to go for selection condition, whenever you want to pass the selection condition, it is clearly saying you need to pass to SHLP cell opt. SHLP, you all know we have a parameter in this SHLP, you need to pass it to cell opt. Whatever the selection condition you want to pass, it clearly mentioned in the documentation itself. We just need to read and achieve our requirement. So whatever the selection condition we want to pass, we want to pass, we will simply simply pass it to our SHLP cell opt. Now we will use this. Now the first most important question from everyone. Okay. You are saying we will use this proof to provide the selection condition, selection conditions. We already have a option to provide that default value. We will simply pass here and it will appear as a selection condition. Suppose simple example, I already explained the practical in the ABAP dictionary playlist also. I already explained default value. Now I will just go for the reference here. Suppose I will go for payment mode. You can see for payment mode, the default value I provided as C. Whenever you are going for default value, importing should be unticked. And it is fully, fully explained in the ABAP dictionary playlist. So I will not put so much time here on this particular topic. Suppose I provided a default value and I simply untick this importing. I will go for activate. 
Now I am running this search help. I will ignore this pop-up and you can see we are getting that default values. See here you have a provision to pass only the single value, single value, single default value. Now the question comes, if I want to pass multiple values, suppose I want only those records where payment mode is C and D both. Can I pass here? I cannot pass. Suppose I want only those records where payment mode is C and N, means credit card and net banking. Can I pass here? I cannot pass. So here, if you are going by default value option, you can pass at a time only one default value. But project asks for range. Project asks for multiple default values. So in that case, it will not work. We need to take the help of which particular step? Pre-sell. Because we all know what is the purpose of pre-sell step. The purpose of pre-sell step is to enter the selection condition. Now, just now few minutes back, I told you, yes, we will pass the selection condition to SHLP cell opt. Just few minutes back, I told you, we will pass the selection condition to this SHLP, which particular parameter cell opt. It is clearly saying you will pass the selection option for the selection option is on what basis our data will be selected. Now, now in our current search help now, in our current search help. Do you have a selection condition? Yes, we have a selection condition. We have a single selection condition that is payment mode C. Now I will show you in the debugging mode itself, SAP will filter that data. It will be automatically in the SHLP cell box. Yes, we will do the practical later. But as of now, suppose we are going for single value and I passed it here itself. So SAP is filtering. How SAP is filtering? Firstly, SAP is passing the C to SHLP cell opt and then it is coming on to that dialog pop-up. And it is clearly mentioned in the theory itself Whenever you want to pass the selection condition, you need to pass to SHLP cell op. And yes, we pass the selection condition. We pass the selection condition. What is the payment mode? Payment mode C. Yes, we have not done the coding, but just to give you overview how it is working. Now I will show you. Suppose I am putting a breakpoint. I will run this particular search help. I am running. I will ignore this pop-up. Now we will see the steps. And I will put may more more focus on SHLP. Now you can see firstly I will show you call control step. It is cell 1. SHLP. Just see SHLP cell opt zero records as of now. I am doing F8. Now you can see step is pre cell one. SHLP cell opt zero records. Now I am doing F8. Now what is the step? Pre cell, pre cell. Now, if I will show you SHLP cell opt, just see what is SHLP cell opt? It has how many records now? One. Now, this step called before displaying the pop up. Whenever I will do F8, that dialog pop up will come. Before that itself, SAP filled SHLP cell opt. And just see what is SHLP cell op. This is our this is our SHLP name. 
this is our what what is the field name pm payment mode what is sign sign is i what is option eq and what is low value c but we gave c credit card and this is all you know a select option has four part sign option low and high what is sign i what is option eq we are going for single value so what is the value of low it is c now i will do f8 now just see c is appearing here so it's not a magic or something that c automatically appeared SAP field SHLP cell opt and after that it appeared here. But the major thing is if we are going by this approach, if we are passing here, it is yes, it is helpful whenever we want to go for single default value. But yes, whenever we want to go for multiple values, range of values, random values at that time, yes. We need to write the logic for the same. And in that case, we will write the logic using the pre-cell step. So what is the summary of the video? Extremely important from the interview perspective. Firstly, I choose that I change the dialog type to dialog with value restriction because we are covering pre-cell step. So that's why I have to go for dialog pop-up so that I can show you the selection condition on that dialog pop-up. Then in this search help exit, I commented the code for cell one step because this search help exit we are using in a collective search help also. If I will not comment this code, so it will simply delete the single search help and I will not get anything. So I commented this code. Then we read the theory that whenever you want to pass the selection condition, you need to pass to SHLP cell opt. Then I have not done the practical anything. I explained you just if you are going for single default value. Single value means single default value means you want to filter based upon that selection condition. Whenever you want to go for default value, importing should be unticked. If you want more clarity on this, you can refer the ABAP dictionary playlist. Now, whenever I run this particular search help, I showed you in the debugging mode, whatever the default value, it's a selection condition. So SAP field cell SHLP cell pop in the pre-cell step in the pre-cell step and then after that it appeared on the dialog pop-up. In the next video, I will take a requirement. I will filter based upon multiple payment mode and we will see how to write the logic for the same. So that's it in this video. Thank you.